Hey Fabulous Crochet Crew, welcome back to the Yarn Wonderland. I'm stoked you're hanging out with me today. Get ready to crochet your way to wardrobe heaven because we are diving into the magic of making this killer halter top. I mean, who needs store-bought when you can stitch up your own fashion dreams? You're gonna want to rock this look everywhere. Let's hook it up, my crochet comrades. The universe awaits. For this tutorial, you'll need medium weight yarn, scissors, 2.5 mm hook, dani needle, and measuring tape. Ready to crochet? Hit that subscribe button and let's craft together. We are kicking off with crafting a bra cap. I've got one ready, but I'll guide you through making your own. They're like crochet twins. Customize this bra for any size, small, medium, large. I've got the blueprint just for you. We are going to begin by making a slip knot. Grab your yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. Then take the first loop and place it over the second loop. Then take the second loop and place it over the loop which was the first one originally and pull both ends simultaneously to tighten. Grab your crochet hook, insert it in the slip knot and give the short sail a gentle tug to snug it up. Following, we are going to make a foundation chain. You are going to yarn over by wrapping the yarn over the hook from back to front. Then pull it through the loop. So yarn over, wrap the yarn over the hook from back to front, then pull it through the loop. I'll be creating a foundation chain of 17, tailored to span from under my boob to my nipple. For your perfect fit, simply place the foundation chain on your breast, ensuring it covers the distance from under your boob to your nipple. After crafting my 17 chains, I'm going to block the 17th chain and add 3 more chains. These additional 3 chains serve as my initial double crochet. We are going to prepare for a double crochet. You're going to yarn over and insert your crochet hook in the chain that you blocked with your fingers or the 4th chain from the hook. Pull the yarn through the chain. You should have three loops on your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. Awesome! Once more, yarn over. Insert your crochet hook in the next chain. And you're going to pull the yarn through the chain. You should have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. Now crochet one double crochet in each chain until the end of this row. I'll catch up with you right here. I've reached the end of the row with one chain remaining. I'll make a double crochet. But here's the twist, I'm adding another one in the same chain. So we got two there in that chain. I'm going to chain one and add two more double crochets in that same chain. That's my first one. And then I'm going in with my second one. In the last chain, I have four double crochets separated by a chain one. We're now going to be working on the opposite direction. Navigating this side might be a bit tricky, but keep an eye out for the stitches. Get ready for a double crochet in the next stitch. Place one double crochet in each stitch until the end of this row. Take a moment to count your stitches so that you make sure you have the same number as the other side. I'll catch up with you right here. I'm at the end of the row and I have one stitch left. I am placing my last double crochet. Row 1 is complete. Count to make sure you have the same number of stitches on both sides. To begin the next row, chain 3. The chain 3 counts as our first double crochet. Turn your work. 
We are going to prepare for our back loop double crochet in the second stitch. Normally, when we do our standard double crochet, we insert our hook in the V-shaped stitch that forms on top of the row. When you work into the back loop, you insert your hook into the loop farthest from you, leaving the loop closest, the front loop untouched. Pull the yarn through the loop. You should have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and go into the next stitch and prepare for a back loop double crochet. You're going to be placing one back loop double crochet in every stitch until the top of the cap before the chain one space. I'll catch up with you here. I'm at the top of the cap and in the chain one space, I'm going to be placing two double crochets. That's my first one. I'm going to go into the chain one space again and that's my second double crochet chain one and place two more double crochets in that chain one space you're doing great in the next stitch you're going to place a back loop double crochet the next one place a back loop double crochet and you'll be placing one back loop double crochet in every stitch until the end of the row. I'll catch up with you here. I'm at the end of the row and I have one stitch left. So I'll be placing my last double crochet. Count your work. But if you're feeling a bit gangster, go ahead and freestyle it. Row two complete. Beautiful. To begin the next row, you're going to chain three. The chain three counts as our first stitch. Turn your work and you're going to prepare for a back loop double crochet in the second stitch. Keep cycling through rows one and two until your crochet creation gracefully drips over your bust. Personally, I crafted an additional five more rows. I'll catch up with you once you're done with yours. Now that we've completed both caps, let's move on to the middle section. I've cut off my yarn because I aim for the right sides of both caps to align perfectly. Ensure that the ridges of both caps align seamlessly. Attach your yarn to one of the bra caps. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and attach to the right side of the bottom of the other cap with a slip stitch. You're going to place a slip stitch in the next stitch. The second stitch from the bottom place a slip stitch following you're going to chain one consequently you're going to prepare for a double crochet in the middle chain at the bottom of the three chains that we made to connect the bra caps in the second chain of the three chains i'm going in and placing a double crochet. I'm going to create another double crochet in that chain. So I have two. Then I'm going to chain two, one, two, and prepare for two more double crochets in that same chain. Awesome, so now we have a shell. Chain one, insert a slip stitch into the second stitch of the bra cup to ensure it matches the corresponding side of the other cup. Fantastic. Now you're going to slip stitch in the next two stitches. That's my first slip stitch, and that's my second slip stitch. Chain two one and two turn your work 
and you're going to prepare for a double crochet in the chain two space below in the shell below that's my first double crochet i'm going to make another shell that's my second double crochet i'm going to chain two and then add two more double crochets in that shell below then i am going to chain two place a slip stitch in the second stitch excluding this one that we worked on instead count two stitches up from that point slip stitch in the second stitch here's the current visual status following you're going to slip stitch in the next two stitches one and that's my second slip stitch this time chain three and turn your work and you're going to prepare for a double crochet in the shell below so that's my first double crochet go into the shell below and prepare for another double crochet chain two and place two more double crochets in that shell consequently you're going to chain three and you're going to prepare for a slip stitch in the second stitch don't count the stitch that we worked on count two stitches up from that point and place a slip stitch following we're going to place two slip stitches in the next two stitches we have three shells so far this time we're going to chain four turn our work and prepare for a shell in the shell beneath so go into the shell beneath and place a double crochet that's my first one that's my second double crochet chain two and place two more double crochets in that shell beneath after you're going to chain four and then you're going to prepare for a slip stitch in the second stitch exclude the stitch that we worked on instead count two stitches up from that point and place a slip stitch consequently place two slip stitches in the next two stitches that's my second slip stitch then chain five turn your work and prepare for a double crochet in the shell beneath that's my first double crochet place another double crochet in the shell beneath then you're going to chain two and place two more double crochets in that shell after chain five and we're going to prepare for a slip stitch in the second stitch exclude the stitch that we worked on instead count two stitches up from that point and place a slip stitch following place two slip stitches in the next two stitches that's my second slip stitch do you notice a recurring pattern I'm at the top of the cap and I have three stitches left and then the chain one space so I'm just going to make three slip stitches here it doesn't matter if you land on two stitches make two slip stitches if you land on three it's okay go ahead and make three slip stitches I'll also go ahead and make a slip stitch on the chain one space following I'm going to chain 15 because this is going to be my 15th shell of this row turn my work and prepare for a double crochet in the shell beneath that's my first double crochet i'll go into the shell again and place another double crochet chain two and i'll place another two more double crochets in that same chain two space or shell beneath then I'm going to chain 15 to correspond to the number of chains that I made 
on the other side. After I'm going to prepare for a slip stitch and this time I'm going to slip stitch on top of the bra cap so that it can align with what I've done on the other side. Just like that. Then I'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn. This is how it looks so far and next we're going to be creating straps for the neck. You're going to create a slip knot and then you're going to make a chain of 80. I'll meet you once you're done. Grab your top and insert your crochet hook in the chain 2 space or the last shell and make a slip stitch. After, you're going to make the same number of chains that you made, that is 80 chains. So I'll meet you once you're done with your chains. We want to make the strap more sturdy, so go into the second chain from the hook and pull the yarn through both the chain and the loop. Go into the next chain and pull the yarn through both the chain and the loop. You're going to be making one slip stitch in every chain until the first chain at the shell. I'll meet you here. Continue making slip stitches in every chain until the first chain that we made. It seems I'll need to crochet on the back side of these chains. It's all right. Chain one and cut off your yarn. And we are done with the top part. This is how it looks like. So beautiful. So pretty. <laughs> We're not going to be working on the bottom side. When you're attaching your yarn, please make sure you attach on the right side. After you've made your chains, you're going to attach to your crochet top with a single crochet. Just like that. Go into the space again and place another single crochet. This is what we have. Go into the next space and place two single crochets. That's my first one. Go into the same space again and place another single crochet. Go into the next space and place two single crochets. This is just to clean up the bottom. Continue with this pattern and I'll meet you here. I'm at the middle of the top and remember we connected the two cups with three chains. So I'll be making three single crochets here. Following, I'm going to continue with the pattern of placing two single crochets in every double crochet space at the bottom. So continue 
with this pattern until the end of this row and I'll catch up with you here. I'm at the end of the row and I want to match the number of chains that I made on the other side. So I'll be crafting 11 chains. I made 12 but I'm going to make 11 chains because you're going to block your 11th chain and you're going to add three more chains and these additional three chains will count as your first double crochet go into the fourth chain from the hook and prepare for a double crochet then you're going to go into the next chain and prepare for a double crochet you're going to make one double crochet in every chain until you reach the front part of the top once you reach the front part of the top you're going to make one standard double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row i'll meet you here I'm at the end of the row and to begin the next row we're going to chain three. The chain three counts as our first stitch. You're going to turn your work and add two more chains. Exclude the stitch we've worked on and count five stitches. Prepare for a double crochet in the fifth stitch. Go into that stitch again and you're going to make another double crochet just like that then chain two and place two more double crochets in that same stitch forming a shell chain two skip four stitches and prepare for a shell in the fifth stitch so i'm placing my double crochet in the fifth stitch going into that same stitch and placing another double crochet chain two and place two more double crochets in that same stitch to form another shell chain two skip four stitches and prepare for a shell in the fifth stitch Follow this pattern until you reach the end of the row or have only a few stitches remaining. I'll meet you here. Unfortunately, I have seven stitches remaining instead of five, but I'm going to prepare for a double crochet in the last stitch. So it's okay. Whatever number of stitch you land on, you have to prepare for a double crochet in the last stitch. To begin the next row, chain three. That counts as our first stitch. Then you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain two and prepare for a shell in the shell beneath. That is two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets. following you're going to chain two and prepare for a shell in the next shell beneath two double crochets that's my first one that's my second double crochet chain two and two more double crochets in that chain two space chain two and prepare for a shell on top of the shell beneath two double crochets that's my second one chain two and two more double crochets in that chain two space You're going to continue with this pattern until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to prepare for a double crochet on the third chain of that box design at the end. Just like that. Awesome. Following, you're going to chain three and then you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain an additional two chains then you're going to prepare for a shell on top of the shell beneath just like that 
so two double crochets chain two and then two more double crochets chain two and prepare for a shell on top of the next shell that is beneath so two double crochets that's my second one chain two and two more double crochets just like that you're going to continue with this pattern until you have your desired length so make as many rows as you would like and i'll catch up with you once you're done awesome i made a total of six rows we're now going to be working on the side where we're going to be attaching our straps you can see we already have loops so there's no need to create more loops so chain one and in the first space in each space you're going to place two single crochets so that's my first single crochet and that's my second single crochet where the rows are meeting i'm also going to place a single crochet over there then in the next space i'm going to place two single crochets then in the place where the rows are meeting i'm going to place a single crochet there so continue with this pattern until over here i'll meet you here i'm going to create a single crochet on top of here this is going to make the loops more sturdy for the straps following you're going to chain 200 or as many chains as you would like i'll meet you once you're done after completing my chains i'm going to go into the second chain from the hook and place a slip stitch then go into the next chain and place a slip stitch so i'm going to be placing one slip stitch in every chain until the first chain that i made so i'll meet you here here i am i'm done with my slip stitches and i want to connect my strap to the top so i'll make a slip stitch in the next stitch chain one and cut off your yarn You're going to do the same thing that you've done on this other side as well so connect your yarn and do the same thing that you've done whip whip hooray and you are done awesome you did a wonderful job like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one and follow me on social media at not kisses